Hey J.E. as friends, my name is Srihar, I am a first year student at IIT Bombay. Now I am in print of J Advanced Air 1. Now we are going to ask him some interesting questions. Hey everyone, I am Sidvilas, J Advanced Air 1. So, I have completed my first sem at IIT Bombay and now second sem has started. Yeah, he is my friend Srihari and I'm to <laughs> today I am going to share my experiences with you. Yeah, uh, yeah the first thing is... Uh, Assume that you are preparing for J mains and advanced now. Yeah. Uh, how would you approach the exams, J mains and advanced? So, first thing I'll tell, usually J mains happens in January and uh, J advanced happens in the June of the same year. So, by 12th, let's say by November or December, you will finish your syllabus mostly and some chapters like inorganic chemistry, you would just do till J mains level and the rest all things you will do for J advanced. So, for JE mains, the preparation strategy is simple. Just complete your syllabus, do do your solving well till December. And in December, practice a lot of previous year NTA papers. So, whenever you practice a paper, your objective should be like this. Whichever question you solve, you have to do it tactically. You need not do it by the best. You should find the best possible method for that. And after the exam, you have to analyze it in this way. Okay? Whichever questions uh, I've done with mistakes, why have I done mistakes? Like, is it a conceptual mistake or is it a calculation mistake or something else? And you have to keep collecting those things. So, at the end of December and when the JE mains exam is coming nearby in January, you have to again revise all the questions which have done mistakes in the past NDA papers that you have given. And uh, when the exam comes closer, in the last two, two, three days, don't do much. Just do some simple chapter, simple revision. Don't do any new questions. And be chill. This is just a simple exam, right? So, just give it your best. So then your J mains will be done. Now J advance. So what about J advance? So for most of the people in between J mains and J advance, you'll get your board exams. And everyone has a different strategy for that. Yeah. So I, I would tell, even if you're losing a bit of J advance during your boards, let it be, try to be it like 50% boards and 50% J. So that you don't get completely away from J syllabus. And once your boards are done, whatever I suggest you to do is give the previous year J advance papers. So that you'll understand which type of things are they asking and do all the papers till the last year of J advance and analyze them properly. This will be the best strategy for J advance. Okay. It's a pretty great answer. How is your schedule like when you're preparing for J mains at advance for the same time now the previous year? Okay. So f now uh, in, in this time in last year, my J mains first session was done and uh, my preparation for board exams have started. So what I used to do, I used to spend 50% for boards and 50% for JE in the day. So, and after the when the boards came near, let's say 10 days to the boards, I've completely prepared for the boards. Once the boards are done, I've, I did not prepare for the JMN session 2 at all. I've just prepared for advance. And JMN session 2, uh, I mean, you if you're prepared well for JMN session 1, then you need not again focus on session 2. It will just automatically happen good. So I've started my preparation for advance. What I did in that last two months was basically just uh, do a lot of previous year papers of J advance and revise a chapter quickly. Like as in, I did not re read the an entire notes. I just made short notes for every single chapter. I checked whether I remember everything that I have done in every chapter. And if I forgot some things, I made a separate notes for all those things which I have forgotten. So in this way, you have to make short notes and whichever things you have forgot, you have to write them in a new notes and solve a lot of papers, lot of full tests. As many papers as you solve, as much it is better for you. So, and sometimes, you know, some chapters might have been missed in 12th or 11th. What you should do is do not worry about backlogs or something. Just be confident on what you have learned till date. If you think that I have done entire 100% of syllabus, that is not correct. I have also done... It's 80 to 85 percent or maybe 90 percent of the syllabus no one does 100 percent whatever you're done be just confident with that oh cool it's a pretty great answer to the aspiring aspirants the problem with so many like aspirants is like they have so many distractions how to solve that so you're asking about distractions yeah. right uh, the thing with distractions is that if you stay away from them for some amount of time like say let's say three four weeks or one month or something like that then you will just go uh, just like that for till the end also. So what you have to do is you have to struggle a lot for that first month where you're trying to stay away from distractions and the rest you'll just 
uh, it'll just happen just like that so for the first month when you're trying to stay away from distractions you will have to struggle a lot after that it'll be very easy for you okay ha uh, now you know so many things that you should do and you wanna give three tips what they would be uh, that's it of question so from my point of view i would tell the most important things for me was that first thing confidence in your methods like whatever thing you have chosen whatever mentors you have teachers you have and the methods that you are following just believe in them like during my preparation i used to feel many times am i going in the right path am i doing the right things uh, are others going in good path i am not and i am not in good path such things come to mind but what you have to do is believe in yourself and have the perseverance and hard work till the end if you have good mentor you have if you have good teachers then it will definitely be good till the end so just have belief in them and um, the second tip will be perseverance and hard work i mean yeah je e smart work it is not much of hard work but that doesn't mean that you don't have to do hard work that doesn't mean you shouldn't do hard work uh, there is a lot of effort that you have to put from your side like you cannot expect teachers to clarify all the things you have to put a lot of effort from your side so remember that and the third thing that i would like to say is that it is a simply an exam you know during the preparation we will be in some other world thinking that this is some other exam i mean this is a tough exam some type of things we get a lot of things in our mind but actually you'll just understand that after later when you come to beat a first year like me or something like that you know and it is just simply an exam it is nothing more than that right so just give be chill give it simply take it easy yeah what an amazing interview i think Hi Aspins this is Pushpa from IIT Bombay now we are having an interesting interview with Chidvilas Reddy AR1 Hi Chidvilas Hi Pushpa So first and foremost like uh, now we are uh, like many of the uh, J aspirants they gave session 1 right yeah. so now they are getting result yeah. on February 12th okay. so like uh, some of the aspirants are uh, if if they get less percentile so how to they maintain stay focused So, if you're getting less percentile in J M in session one, don't be much worried about it. What you have to focus more on is just try to focus on session two and J advance. Yes. Okay. Sometimes it happens that your day did not go well, or due to some other external factors, you are unable to do well in session one. So, take it easy and focus on your session two. Okay. Okay. So, what do you recommend? Like, uh, how many tests is you recommend for this session two? Like, what is the good number of uh, test series? Uh, I would tell the best test series are the previous NTA papers, the official NTA papers, and nothing else other than that is required, according to me. And if you think they are not enough, you are wrong because they are like almost unlimited in number. The previous NTA papers, as many you want, there are more than like hundred as well. I I, I think there are hundred to one fifty NTA papers from twenty eighteen or something onwards. So that will be more than enough. Chidvilas, what is the ideal way to read NCERT? Okay. so you are asking like everyone reads ncert but what makes a difference right yes, yes. okay so i would say that ncert reading i say like it is like you can't read it in once okay and you shouldn't read it for the sake of reading you should read it for the sake of enjoying it or something like that i didn't understand it when i did my first chapter let me give an example i've done p block first time in ncert as for what i remember in p block uh, i've just read every page and i think i completed in the first day itself then i went to my teacher and said yeah it is done i've done p block reading in cert then my teacher pointed out what my seniors underlined and what my seniors learned from in cert last year from the p block then i understood that i didn't even complete 10% of it so what is the ideal way to read in cert then first of all pick a para start from the beginning of the chapter pick a para and go through every single line of it and then try to understand what is it trying to say try to understand the thing behind it and then go to the next para and then you do it again in the similar way and whatever you find interesting in the first round just underline it so after the first round is done just uh, conclude whatever you have learned okay write them down or just conclude whatever you learned and then maybe after some days or whenever you revise it for the second time you just check which points you have concluded last time and now whenever you read it briefly again which are points you find new underline them again so in chat is like you have to do it in rounds you should do lot of rounds maybe for p block i did 7 to 8 rounds but it will be like 
first time you do a lot and then it the graph goes like this next time onwards you do briefly briefly be free each time you'll connect some new, new points every round you'll collect some new points whenever you finish a round you have to write down the concluded points so this is the best way to read ncrt chidlas just now we recommended some test series right for them yeah. like uh, how to attempt the paper and what is the best strategy to write and uh, how you wrote and what is the best way and uh, how to analysis that uh, test series okay so for writing a paper there are some simple rules that you can follow so first thing is decide which order you want to give it uh, mpc or cpm or pcm that will be up to you you have to write a lot of exams and you have to analyze which uh, order is working for you and the second thing is uh, you have to div divide the time also before the exam itself like for physics i'm going to divide 40 minutes for chemistry i'm going to divide 40 minutes for the for math i'm going to divide 1 hour 30 minutes and the rest 10 minutes i'm going to give for spare time whichever questions i'm unable to do i'll revise in that spare time something like that and you have to stick to the time because let's say you have spent 1 hour on physics then other subject will be gone because of that but if you have stick to the time then you'll get spare time in the ending in which you have more chance of solving the questions which you have left in the beginning so time allot allotment is also one more important thing and uh, the third thing will be before the paper you have to uh, from 30 minutes before the paper you have to stay calm and stay focused it shouldn't be like paper is at 9 and you rushed there at 8:55 and just randomly started the paper at 9 no whichever practice test you give or mock test you give go and sit there at 8:30 and half an hour you just sit idle this will make you prepared for the final day okay chidlas what is the one piece of advice for every jee mains aspirant like you would like to give them um so one piece of advice so it is tough to give just some one piece but what is the thing that i'll tell is just stay cool uh focus on your preparation and uh, advices beat anyone beat my advice or beat your teacher's advice you take it only if it helps you sometimes advices aren't helpful you'll think like okay so that should be done but i'm not doing that so maybe i'm going in the wrong path no that's not how it works things will work differently for different people so from advices just take in what you want to take hello friends this is pushpa from it bombay